everyone and welcome to another episode of our little university art program. Today we are going to make these awesome leaf prints. So we're going to use some clay and make a little uh, ornament or you could even make it a necklace and um, we're all going to use all sorts of things from nature to create these. So I'm going to show you exactly what you're going to need and then we're going to get started. So for this project you're going to need some air dry clay and you could also use Play-Doh if that's what you have at your house. That works just great. But this one's called Model Magic, Crayola Model Magic. You're also going to need some paint. This is watercolor paint, and I think that's probably going to be the best for this activity. You're going to need some scissors, a paintbrush, a watercolor paintbrush, somewhere to lay your leaf prints when they're uh, so they can get ready to dry, and then some string to uh, string up your leaf prints. And then finally, the most important part, you need some leaves. And I collected a couple of different leaves from around my yard. You could get these from your neighbor's yard or a tree outside your school, wherever you can find some really cool leaves. Make sure that they're not all dried up because if they're crunchy, then that's not gonna work. So you need to make sure that they're green or just not crunchy yet. So this one is a fall leaf that isn't crunchy yet. So get all of that stuff together and then we'll get started. Now that we have all of our materials together, we are going to get started. The first step in this project is that you need your air dry clay and you're going to take little pieces of it and pull it off and you're going to make a ball. So you're going to roll it around in your hands and make as best ball as you can because the better the ball that you make, the easier it is to squish. So now that we have our little ball, I'm gonna squish it with the palm of my hand and make it into a little pancake. And you can make it as big or as little as you want, depending on how big your leaf is. So there's my first ball, all squished out. And now I'm gonna take one of my leaves and I'm gonna put it with the vein side down, so the, with the bumpy side down, because that's gonna make a better print. Okay, so here we go. So now you're going to take your leaf and you're going to press it into your clay. And you want to make press it in there pretty hard so that way it makes a really good print in there. So then we're going to pull it up and look and see what it made. And it's going to be a little bit hard to see on the camera, but I'm going to put it up there a little bit farther. Can you see how it made a print in there? Yeah. So we're going to do that with all our different leaves. I'm going to make one more and you can make as many or as few as that you want. So I'm going to make my another ball. This one's going to be really big. I'm going to make a good ball in there and I'm going to smash it down. I think this might be the funnest part because you get to smash it. Okay. I'm going to make my pancake. I'm going to try to make it pretty thin because then it'll like take less time to dry. And then you have more clay to be able to do more prints. And you see how so I'm actually spreading it out kind of like pizza dough? Yeah, it makes it a little bit easier so that way it gets really thin. So I'm gonna use this leaf this time. And I'm gonna smash it down in there. I'm gonna use the palm of my hand and squish it really, really good. Oh, there we go. And then I'm gonna pull it out. Oh, there. Do you see that leaf print in there? Yeah, and I'm gonna put both of them over here to dry with my other ones. And so I've already made a couple uh, earlier that we can use, but uh, we're gonna take these and we're gonna paint them um, because they're all dry now, okay? So I'm gonna do one other thing before we uh, paint. I'm gonna put a little hole at the top so that way I can pull, uh, put a string through and your hole needs to be pretty big. And the best thing to use for this is actually your paintbrush that you're gonna paint with. Okay, so now we have our leaf print. Now we are going to get ready to paint. So I have my paint here and I did grab some water because since it's watercolor, we need some water to help it make it, it as watery as possible. So I'm first gonna put, dip my paintbrush into the water. Then I'm gonna choose my colors. I think I'm gonna use some darker colors on this one. I'm going to use some blue. Remember, we need to use lots of water for watercolor because the more water that we use, the better the watercolor looks. So now I'm going to paint it 
on top of here. Oh, and now I can see the print coming out even better. I'm gonna use some other colors too. Here's some yellow. We'll put that on the side. And look, it's mixing together because yellow and blue make green. I'm gonna do a little bit more yellow on that other side. Go all the way up to the top. Okay. And now you can actually see the print even better. Do you see how you can see all the veins in there really well? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna put that to the side and I'm gonna let it dry. Now again, I did some earlier because I knew that we were gonna have to work on this. Oh, and I forgot to put a hole in this one. So I'm gonna put a hole in it right now. I'm gonna move my water out of the way so I don't spill my water. It's an important piece. Okay. So now that I have my hole in there, I can put my string in. So we don't need much string, depending on what you wanna do with it. So I'm gonna use a little bit long string, and I'm gonna cut my string. And you need some pretty sharp scissors to be able to cut your string. And then we're gonna put it through the hole and tie it. And you might need mom or dad's help or um, a, a caregiver to be able to help you with this part. And then you're gonna tie it. And look, now I have a beautiful ornament that I can use on a tree or I could just hang it in my room somewhere. Or if I make my string long enough, I could even make a necklace with it. So it came out pretty cool. I think I like this one the best because this one has the most veins in it. And I think it uh, looks really, really cool. I like it a lot. Thank you so much for joining us for Little University Art Crafts again. I'm gonna take my beautiful leaf print and I think I might hang it on my Christmas tree this year. Or maybe I'll hang it in my bedroom as just a beautiful decoration for my room. You could use it however you want. Join us again for another uh, little university video anytime. You can find us on YouTube at youtube.com slash Denver Library, or you can join us in person for other little university programs on Thursdays at 3.30 and Saturdays at 10.30 in the morning. We also has a, have a Spanish version on uh, Tuesdays at 3.30 as well. I would love to see you all there anytime. Have a great day.